first impression when you walk in is that it's a hugely busy show. The level of footfall seems to be better than last year and that always gives a great deal of encouragement to our members, the automotive sector, who are looking at opportunities to show their wares and meet with other sectors as well. Aerospace and automotive are booming now in the UK. There seems to be a show that has plenty of those technologies to offer. Chances to meeting new people, looking at new technologies. It's a nice opportunity to see existing customers and keep them up to date with what we're doing, but also we always need to be looking for new customers at the same time. We've been here multiple times and it's very good for contacts and developing the future expansion of the business. How's it been going so far? Very good show so far, very good. It's a good opportunity to meet uh, industry players, to find out exactly where the challenges are in UK industry and uh, UK manufacturing. A show like this brings together everybody who's working at the forefront of the industry and allows industry to learn from each other and work across the sectors. We've been coming to Advanced Engineering Show for a number of years now and we like to come here because there are lots of different industries all in one event. It's visibility. We tried last year and it was a really successful show. It gets us the opportunity to talk to different people in different functions within their organisations. We found that this show offers a lot of networking opportunities. It's been very useful to keep our name out there in the field of automotive. We find that this has great relevance for us. We have a number of products for the automotive, aerospace and composite sectors. So this is a great place to showcase that it's our target audience under one roof. The creme de la creme of UK engineering businesses are all in the room. Decision makers, purchasers, engineers, and they know what they want. For us it's an extremely useful show to see parts of the business outside defence, which is helping us to rebalance our business. Well, a show like this is absolutely wonderful because it enables us to reach a huge number of potential beneficiary companies who can apply for grants all in one place. The first year we came here purely as visitors, but we were impressed by the footfall coming through and the quality of people we saw. But we've been exhibiting since year two and building the stand every year since then, so it's getting bigger and bigger. For the air industry in particular, it's going to all be about the new kinds of technologies and materials going into the planes like the 787. How do you inspect an aircraft wing made of carbon fibre? Big things for us in automotive is to do with perception technologies, sensing, control on the vehicles. Intervening in the vehicle dynamics so that even though the driver is not braking, we will brake a vehicle. So we're moving from passive to active safety. The trends in the industry at the moment certainly are for manufacturers to produce more environmentally and user-friendly products. Customers require changes, personalised products, very rapid turnaround of manufacturing. Trying to do more with less. There's a massive pressure on companies to reduce costs. Highly efficient, energy efficient products are trying to help and address those issues. New manufacturing technologies are now being progressively embraced by industry and it's those new technologies that will give the UK competitive advantage. We can't win on low labour cost, but we can win on innovation. We are the first in researching graphene, but in terms of development that's where we're lacking and we want to work with industry in order to push commercialization of graphene based projects. This show is a measure, it's got bigger, it's got more active and perhaps really significantly when you walk around the sort of quality of the products we're seeing is just getting more and more exciting year on year. I think it's a great showcase of uh, some of the UK's manufacturing and also you can spot the trends of where the engineering community is going and moving. Obviously Williams Formula One has been around since 1977 but of recent we've been taking a lot of our technology, again developed in Formula One, and trying to apply it to the wider market and finding solutions for it. Additive manufacture is basically uh, 3D printing. This is some chain mail just for demonstration purposes, but it's manufactured in titanium using lasers and powder. We take designs that people know they cannot make conventionally. This is the real key to using the technology. This is a fine example, an entirely optimised heat exchanger, and that would be virtually impossible to make by any other means. What will be interesting to see in the next five or ten years is actually how we go from the big companies to a lot of the smaller SMEs, raw BVs, cloud sourced, innovative guys starting up, doing things in a completely different way. The big trend is cloud manufacturing and that's because with globalisation you need to make parts with confidence all over the world so when they all join together it fits. We see a growth in optical metrology and automation. The trend in the industry generally is to move away from conventional measurement methods and move much more into non-contact methods. 
the moment, UK is a, one of the world leaders in aerospace composites and rapidly moving into automotive. The exhibition certainly helps to encourage the confidence within the market and as we know that's where it all starts from. We're certainly getting a lot of interest in some of our new technologies. We've got an AC Cobra here. The body itself is made out of our materials, our resin, our gloss fibre. This is a lightweight rail for a bus or train application replacing metal. British designed and built solid bamboo and flax composite bicycle. It's nice to see new ideas, it's nice that we all get together, we all know each other at the end of the day. This gentleman is our bomb disposal suit, a composite blast shell in the front and a very clever composite helmet. This is a student design car, we just come to look to engineers that might be able to help us out, offer their expertise and help us design a new car for next year. So, what do you think of the show so far? Over the years of attending the show, the level of individuals that are coming are right in the area that we're interested to talk to, uh, the quality of those discussions and uh, the follow-on opportunities has been uh, of real value, so the show for us is one that we'll support and continue to support. We exhibit a lot around Europe, but what we find is a lot of the relevance there is starting to diminish, not really bringing in the right level of people. We're finding from here we get people everywhere from the shop floor to the boardroom, so you get a very good cross-section. We've had a great couple of days. Yesterday was non-stop for us. We came on to the stands, quarter past nine. The next thing we knew it was ten past four. All day, 100 miles an hour. Very, very powerful. Well, it's been very busy. I'm actually very happy. I couldn't have uh, five minutes for myself, so we attracted a lot of attention. For the two days here, no question about it. Very, very good. Excellent. It's great. We love the show. It's our fourth year of exhibiting. Every year, as the show has grown, we've grown with it. It really worked well for us. There's a challenge for us to demonstrate the wide range of products that we offer, and so the show gives us that opportunity. We like to be here. It keeps our brand exposed and uh, we get new leads and customers from it. It's the oddball person that picks up a brochure that calls you back later, that if you weren't here, that would never have happened. If we're not seen, if we're not heard, we don't get the leads that we need. This is our only show and we're very happy with it. Yeah, we find it worth coming. I think this is an excellent show. Scott Barder have been coming since the show evolved, actually, and we've seen it grow, and we've taken some real benefit from being here over the years. It helps us reach out to customers we're not talking to at the moment. So it's very good for new leads. We've got some interesting leads and hopefully they'll turn into orders. We found it to be successful again, but a lot of traffic. So generally speaking, a very positive experience. This show, out of all of them, has been the best for us. Despite developments in information technology, social media, whatever, nothing beats face-to-face -face discussion. If you want to do business, you do have to meet people and use events like this to network. Ooh.